Hey guys, so welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. I've got something a little different today. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about some of the settings that you see me using in game. So more specifically, my uh, custom perk icons that you see me using in matches, as well as my reshade presets. So I, th I thought I'd just make a quick video where I show you guys how to set these things up. Um, I think they're super good um, just to let you sort of have a little bit more customization over your game. Uh, the custom perk icons are awesome. Uh, and the reshade really helps with visibility in game, especially on some darker maps, and is, is really, really useful for spirit players. So if anyone out there is enjoying playing spirit and would like a little bit uh, clearer visuals on scratch marks, for example, then reshade is, is definitely going to help you out. Uh, both these tools are completely free, uh, completely safe to use. They will not get you banned at all. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just go uh, straight into how to actually set both of these things up. Okay, so first of all, let's cover the custom icon packs that you'll see me using in game. So this is done with an app called Nightlight, and this is available if you're using, uh, if you're playing Dead by Daylight on Steam or Epic. So uh, just head on to the first link in the description. It's going to be for Nightlight Desktop, and click Download for Windows here. And once you've got Nightlight downloaded, just go ahead and double-click the installer here. It's going to show you this little setup wizard. Just click Next and Install. And once it's doing that, it should just open once it's finished. So just click next here and then finish. And once it's done, go ahead and click Nightlight Desktop and that's gonna open the actual app. And here we are. So just like that, it's installed. And in order to install your icon packs, just go ahead and click on icon packs here. And this is gonna be uh, every available icon pack uh, for Dead by Daylight here. So there are tons and tons and tons to choose from. Uh, do note that some of them are available only maybe for older versions. So for example, this one's only for 8.1.0. Uh, we're currently on 9.3.0, but since that version of the game doesn't actually introduce any new perks, you could go ahead and install anything for 9.2.0. Obviously, it'll be different depending on when you're watching this. But if you want to go and install the one that I use specifically, then it's going to be the watercolor pack here. So it's by uh, Sherbler, and I'll, I'll leave uh, a link to it specifically. Uh, you can also do this via Nightlight's desktop. Uh, but here you can see a quick preview of kind of all of the uh, all of the icons that it shows. Uh, some of the packs will also include player uh, cards, so it'll, it'll include little icons for all the characters. Uh, so you can install something like that as well if you wish. But I'll just cover perks and um, uh, uh, status effects and stuff. So you can see uh, oh, items as well, offerings, powers, uh, everything like that. So you can even search up. Uh, spirit, I think it comes up. There you go. So there's Spirit's little power icon there. Or her her add-ons as well. Mother daughter ring. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so once you've uh, picked the icon pack you want, so for me it's going to be watercolor. Just go ahead and click install, and uh, go ahead and install existing files. If you've previously installed a pack or whatever, just go ahead and click remove existing custom icons. Uh, but other than that, just click install files, and that'll go ahead and download. Okay, so once you've installed the pack you want, just go ahead and boot up Dead by Daylight as you would normally. So let's go ahead and click Killer here, and you'll see that, there we go, my icons have it all installed correctly, and it looks so cool. You've got your add-ons, your power, your offerings, your perks, uh, it looks brilliant. Um, like I said as well, you can also do the same for uh, like icon, like character icons, um, but that you'll, you'll find that in Nightlight itself, and it's just this exact same process as the perks. All right, so next let's talk about reshade and this is going to allow you to sort of enhance the actual visuals of your game, make some maps look a bit brighter uh, and stuff like that. This is super helpful for spirit especially, it increases uh, scratch bark visibility by quite a lot. So go ahead and click on the second download uh, link in the description, it's going to take you to reshade's website. Just click the download option here and it's going to take you to the most recent version of reshade. So right now it's 6.6.2, so go ahead and click that and it will download onto your computer. And once you have Reshade downloaded, similarly to Nightlight, just go ahead and double click the installer. And here it's going to have a bunch of different games that you might have on your computer. So in order to find the correct uh, version of Dead by Daylight, you're going to look for the Dead by Daylight Win64 shipping, uh, shipping EXE. This is the exact one you need, the specific for Steam. It might be different for Epic, you might need to figure that out yourself, I'm not sure what it is. But for Steam, it's this exact file here. There's going to be a couple of different... Uh, ones for Dead by Daylight, so just make sure it's definitely this one. Go ahead and click Next. Make sure it's Direct X 10 11 12. Click Next. And don't worry about anything here. Click Next again. And that's going to go ahead and install very quickly. And that's you finished. 
And finally, the last thing you're going to need to do is come to the final link, and that's going to include my presets, my reshade presets that I use in-game. So there's a few of them here, one's for a couple of different maps, and uh, the Nightlight reshade isn't actually mine, it, you guessed it belongs to Nightlight. Um, but I use it just as a general sort of visual enhancer, not, not for anything in particular, it just makes the game look a bit nicer. So if you want just a, a general default... Uh, just boost in colors and stuff to your game definitely use nightlights reshade uh, otherwise the other ones here are more specific for spirit so anyway once you're here just go ahead and click the download and it should download all the files onto your computer so once you've got my presets downloaded just go ahead and extract these with whatever uh, extraction tool it is that you use so for me it's winrar open up this folder and next go ahead and click on steam head on over to dead by daylight if you're using steam if it's Epic you're using, then just go to your game install directory via Epic. Um, so for on Steam, it's under Manage and Browse Local Files. And once you're in here, go ahead and click on Dead by Daylight, Binaries, Win64, and simply drag in all these presets into this folder. It's going to ask me to replace because I already have presets in here. So I'll do that just for the sake of this. And that is you good to go. So now when you boot up Dead by Daylight, I'll show you what happens. Alright, perfect. So now that we're in Dead by Daylight, you should see this little menu appearing at the top here. It's going to say Reshade is now installed, blah blah blah. Uh, and in order to actually pull up the sort of config menu, just hit Home. It's going to say First Time Users Tutorial, blah blah blah. Just skip this, you don't need it. And uh, by default, it will have Reshade preset enabled here. Uh, I don't know if it has it by default, but usually the, um, the toggle is, is page up and page down. So I don't think it is like that by default, is it? No, it's not. So for the sake of you guys, uh, you'll see the next preset and previous preset keys under the settings icon here. So I would put previous to page down and next preset to page up. And this will just like you cycle through your presets uh, for reshade. So um, yeah, that's perfect. Now, if you come out of this, so just click anywhere on the screen and hit escape, you'll notice that when I start pressing page up, it's going to toggle to all the different presets that I have. So by default, I use Nightlight Reshade. And you can see what a difference that that actually makes uh, between not using it and using it. So it's super good. Um, so depending on what map you're on, you can quickly toggle between presets uh, like so. So yeah, it's super, super good. Additionally, if we head back to the settings, uh, we can go over here. And at the very bottom, you'll have an option to show FPS and also show clock on screen. So if you, if you set it to the tick icon, then it will always show and uh, you can actually set the position of it uh, anywhere you want. So it's actually at the top right now, right now, but you can't see it. I usually have it on the bottom right. You can see it appearing down here and the color, I usually set it to kind of a nice purple uh, just because I think it's what looks nice. Perfect. There you go. So you can also have like an in actual uh, in-game clock uh, on your screen as well as your, your, your frame rate if you really want to. But yeah, that's basically how to set up reshade. Um, and I'll show you a quick little demonstration in game so you can see what kind of a difference it actually makes. Okay, so here we are in game now in the Withered Isle. So first of all, I'll switch it to the no reshade preset. This should be what your game looks like by default um, with the in game gamma setting as well. And if I hit page down, I can toggle it to nightlight reshade and you'll see how much brighter and just more vivid the game actually looks. It looks so good, it looks so much better. Um, and you'll see how like different uh, scratch marks actually appear if we can actually find somebody uh, This is a bot game. So yeah, Here we are so you can see how much clearer the scratch marks actually are uh, On game as well, so it's pretty good. Uh, I would say this is definitely worthwhile using uh, It just helps with visibility overall um, It's super good. So yeah, that's about it really. Oh, you can also see my little custom perks uh, little add-ons in the bottom left current corner as well um, So yeah, super cool but that's basically it for uh, sort of using night uh, using nightlight for park icons and also reshade. But uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so that should be everything up and running. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. But hopefully, you've managed to sort those things out, and I hope you benefit from them in your games. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, stick around if you want to see uh, the streaming content coming pretty soon. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you guys so much for watching.